Oh, yeah, I remember this. I was meant to react to it and I didn't get round to it. Let's do it right now, then. Oh. Oh, my days. But right, guys, what is going on? I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's a little bit slow on the content this week. I've got a few dozen videos there that I want to react to in my notes, but I don't feel like it's the right time to do them. So today, we're actually going to take a look at Devin Haney. We've been looking at Ryan Garcia the last week or so, mainly because he's the one who's making a lot of noise. He's talking about the devil worship and Satanism. He so he's been taking up the majority of the spotlight. But because I'm getting into boxing a little bit more, I want to take a look at Devin Haney's work that he's doing on the build-up to this fight. Now, there's not a lot of footage to cover, but do not get it twisted. I am watching this to learn. I'm not watching this for your guys' entertainment. The whole purpose in this video, really, is that I want to learn, and I am documenting my learning process. Someone put a funny comment on one of the last videos saying, so now being a casual is a niche? <laughs> Which I found quite funny. Yeah, I am a casual. But I've got a good feeling that Devin Haney's going to win this fight. Now, I haven't even seen a lot from Devin Haney. I've seen some highlights here and there. So I'm kind of just going off a gut instinct. It's not really a valid prediction. I'm also predicting that Ryan's going to lose because of how distracted he's been. I'm not measuring it skill for skill yet. And hopefully over the next few weeks, I'm going to be able to get a better picture of who I believe is going to win this fight based off skills alone. So first off, let's take a look at Devin Haney on the heavy bag. I really like that work that he's doing. Now, understand, this is coming from a complete novice boxer perspective. Someone who's only ever had two boxing lessons in his entire life. For me, I have a kickboxing background. And even still, I haven't trained consistently since I was about 21. And then I've been in and out of it throughout my 30s. But what I'm picking up by this, first off from the novice boxer perspective, that we can all learn from. Not talking about Ryan Garcia. Not talking about these are the skills that's going to beat Ryan. I'm talking about what can we actually learn ourselves from what Devin Haney is doing. I'll play the first 10 seconds again and see if you can pick up what he's doing after every combination that he throws. You see what he's doing? After every combination he's throwing, he's moving his head. So one, two, slip. One, two, roll, hook. This is something I've been trying to do a little bit more myself when I've been going on the heavy bag here and there. More so to just get a workout in. Is throw a couple punches, move my head. Throw a few punches, roll. I've developed this terrible habit in recent years because I've been unfit and every time I've went back to kickboxing, I haven't been able to fight with my usual style, which is a little bit more of a side-on stance and a bit more of a blitzing type attack. So what I've had to do, I've had to go a little bit more square on, kind of like a Muay Thai stance and plod me way just because I don't have the fitness or the energy or the explosiveness just due to being so unfit and let alone being sick now and through these last few years I've developed a bad habit of just throwing punches dropping my hands and then not moving my head after the combination whereas I used to be able to jump in come straight back out jump in out and it was very dynamic in and out style but you need to be fit to do that so once again I already know this but it's very easy to forget about the basics and what do the best boxers in the world do they do the basics extremely well. It's like 90% basics, 10% advanced stuff. You know, thereabouts anyway. See the way he's doing that? He's rolling under. Really good. Now, do you know what's so funny, right? People in the comments. People on social media can be so toxic. Someone said, no power. And 220 people agree with that. Is this guy watching the same video that I'm watching? Because what I see is a 150 pound lad hitting a decent sized heavy bag, moving it quite significantly, but also not really going for power. You've got to understand what you're looking at. Are you looking at someone who's trying to get those power shots in? Or are you looking at someone who's just getting good working on the heavy bag and working on his shot selection, working on his technique, Working on his footwork. Take a look. 
They're powerful shots. How are you going to watch that and say that there's no power there? <laughs> That's powerful. And this isn't even Haney trying to go for proper power shots either. You can tell. Because he's kind of just flowy with it. He's not like, ah, digging it in. He's just, uz, uz. Is, is, is. What did he say? Slow as smooth, smooth as fast. And I'm glad someone here said it. He has some of the best bag work. One thing that I've seen in the comments, people keep going on about Devin Haney biting Tank and copying off Tank. Tattered his legs like Daddy Tank. Everyone can see this clown bites Javante's life. And this guy said it good here. Nothing fancy, just straight, honest work. That's what I felt like when I was watching it. He wasn't trying to do anything crazy for the camera. He was just getting good work in. But it was solid. Now, moving on. Six days ago, Devin Haney posted this. It's nice. It's Nice. Dear, how are you going to say that he's got no power? Can you hear the thuds on them? Look at the size of this bag as well. Is that like a hundred pound bag, is it? And it looks like he's got, what's that, four or six ounce gloves on? It's nice. it's, it's, yes. it's, it's That's some power, that. We're talking about a 150-pound lad here. What are they fighting at? Oh, okay, so they're going to be fighting at 140 pounds. Now, didn't Ryan say that he was extremely malnourished and dehydrated the last time he fought at 140 pounds, which was against Tank Davis? Oh, no, okay. So they fought at 135 pounds last time. Well, okay, so hopefully Ryan will be a little bit more hydrated. He can't use the excuse of being malnourished or dehydrated. And you can hear those thuds. You can hear how hard he's hitting. <laughs> Ah, like really, really nice work. Let's also take a look at his technique. It's a very interesting right hand, that. So it's not like a straight punch right down the middle. It's almost like an overhand. He's throwing that right hand high, obviously because Ryan is the taller fighter. So it makes sense to punch the bag where you're expecting to punch your opponent. And that's something that I try and do. I'm like 5'10", but the majority of the lads in kickboxing are like 6'4", 6'1", 6'3", 6'4". So when I'm punching the heavy bag, I make sure that I'm not punching it on my head level. I punch it a little bit higher just to make sure that when I'm actually sparring, I'm used to punching at the proper height. And if you also take a look at how much hip rotation Devin Haney is getting in there, all the power comes from those hips and the feet. So as he's punching, it's not so much what the hand is doing. It's more so about how much power are you generating through that back foot and then through the knee and then into the hip. And then that power translates through into the arm. Then the punch itself is more like an afterthought. And that's why although boxers mainly use the hands, it's important when they're doing strength and conditioning work that they do squats, they do deadlifts, they do clean and presses or snatches. It's important that they've got strong legs because that's where all the power comes from. Now, they might have skinny legs, but they can still have strong legs. And also, make sure you keep a lookout for my app this year. It's going to show you how to build muscle naturally, how to get in great shape, get lean, shredded, have the physique of a fighter, and then also how to train to complement your fighting performance. I'm so excited to put it out there. It's a lot of work between now and when it gets released. But if you're interested in it, check the first link in the description to join the mailing list to stay updated about the developments. Anyway, back to this. Let's watch his technique. Great work. Now, this is a bit older from October the 20th, 2023, but let's just take a look at it anyway. You know, watching this, right, it just takes me back to the argument of Devin Haney versus Bradley Martin in a street fight. I think Devin Haney would have a, have a pretty good chance at just cracking Bradley Martin. I know a lot of people say you'd be stupid to think that Bradley Martin wouldn't win in a street fight against Devin Haney. And I understand the argument, but, you know, if the man's walking around £170, you see he's got power in his hands. He's fast as well. He's not even trying to punch too fast here. I think if it was a street fight and you're close and Devin Haney gets the first shot, he's absolutely putting Bradley Martin's lights out. <laughs> Yeah. 
I just love the fluidity as well. You can see that he's just had those tens of thousands of reps drilled into his nervous system. Technique is just so precise. It makes me realize that I've got a long, long way to just get back to my basic level. Someone said, all oh, that's for Tank to just knock you out. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I was meant to react to it and I didn't get round to it, but... Let's do it right now then. So we got Devin Haney in the black and Tank Davis in the white. I presume so. Let's watch it. Oh, Tank putting the pressure on there. It's personal. This is just a fight. Oh, that uppercut then by Tank. Good head movements. Got him with the body shot on the way out. Uppercuts by Tank. Oh, that body shot. Oh, he's pouring it on. Oh, he's got him. Holding on to the glove. Damn, look at Tank. He's absolutely going for it. Ripping to the body. Going for the uppercuts. He's just... Well. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, my days. Oh. Body. Head. Say what, this tank is just relentless, isn't he? Wow. There you go. Yeah, that's Hank Davis. He just is absolutely relentless and just does not ease up on the pressure. He reminds me of Floyd Mayweather in the Conor McGregor fight, the way he walked forward like that. He changed his style, high guard style. So it seems like Tank Davis is the guy right now. He's mopped the floor with everyone. Obviously, he's already beat Ryan Garcia. He got the better of Devin Haney in that Sparta match. So very interesting. But how do you think Devin Haney looked in these videos? I just want to say one thing as well. I've got a couple workout vlog type videos that are done in Dubai at the start of March when I went on a business mastermind. I'm going to put the first one up tomorrow, so it's a workout Wednesday, and then I'll put the other one up next Wednesday. Typically, those videos are going to get less views, but if you're interested in fitness, if you're interested in the channel, if you're interested in a bunch of bodybuilders and fitness models putting me through a grueling workout, then make sure you tune in for tomorrow's video. It helps out the channel a lot too. And a big shout out to everyone who's now joined my secret Instagram and secret YouTube. Ho, ho, ho. If you want access to them though, you've got to DM me on Instagram because I'm not giving it out to everyone. Okay guys, make sure you subscribe for daily uploads like this video and i'll see you all tomorrow for the dubai workout video